Why do narcissists hate loneliness so much? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that sheds light on the intricate and often misunderstood world of narcissism. Why do narcissists hate loneliness so much? If you've ever wondered why narcissists seem to jump from one relationship or social engagement to another without pause, or why they seem so terrified of being alone, this video is for you. Narcissists may come across as confident and self-assured, but the reality is far more complex. Their fear of loneliness is deeply rooted in their need for constant validation, their inability to connect on a genuine emotional level, and their profound fear of vulnerability. In this video, we'll explore the psychological and emotional factors that make loneliness particularly unbearable for narcissists. We'll discuss their dependency on external validation, the impact of childhood experiences, and the coping mechanisms they use to avoid facing their inner insecurities. By understanding these dynamics, you'll gain insight into the narcissist's psyche and learn why their aversion to loneliness is more than just a preference, it's a fundamental aspect of their personality. Stick around as we unravel the complexities of narcissistic behavior and uncover the real reasons behind their fear of being alone. Let's get started. Loneliness is a universally challenging experience, but for narcissists, it can be particularly unbearable. While most people can feel lonely at times, they also have the capacity to find solace in solitude and rebuild their social connections over time. Narcissists, however, often exhibit an intense aversion to being alone. Understanding Narcissism To comprehend why narcissists despise loneliness, it's essential first to understand the nature of narcissism. Narcissistic Personality Disorder NPD, is characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. Narcissists view the world through a lens of self-centeredness and entitlement, believing that they deserve special treatment and constant validation. This need for admiration and validation is not merely a desire, it's a psychological necessity. Without it, narcissists struggle to maintain their fragile self-esteem. Their sense of identity and self-worth is heavily dependent on external affirmation, making the prospect of loneliness particularly threatening. The need for narcissistic supply. Narcissists rely on what is known as narcissistic supply to sustain their self-image and emotional equilibrium. Narcissistic supply refers to the attention, admiration and validation that narcissists seek from others. This supply can come in various forms, including praise, attention and even fear or submission from those around them. 1. Validation and self-worth Narcissists need constant validation to feel good about themselves. Their self-worth is intricately tied to how others perceive them. When they are alone, they are deprived of this external validation, leading to feelings of worthlessness and inadequacy. 2. Control and dominance. Being in relationships or social settings allows narcissists to exert control and dominance over others. This control reinforces their sense of superiority and power. Loneliness strips them of this ability to manipulate and dominate, making them feel powerless and insignificant. 3. Distraction from inner turmoil. Narcissists often harbor deep-seated insecurities and emotional pain. Being surrounded by others provides a distraction from their inner turmoil. When alone, they are forced to confront these unresolved issues, leading to discomfort and distress. Fear of vulnerability. Despite their outward confidence and bravado, narcissists have a profound fear of vulnerability. This fear stems from their fragile self-esteem and the deep-seated belief that they are fundamentally unlovable or flawed. 
Being alone forces narcissists to face their vulnerabilities, which they typically go to great lengths to avoid. 1. Emotional intimacy. Narcissists struggle with emotional intimacy and genuine connection. They fear that if others see their true selves, they will be rejected or criticized. Loneliness heightens this fear, as there is no one around to validate their constructed self-image. 2. Exposure of true self. In solitude, narcissists cannot maintain their facade of perfection and superiority. They are left alone with their thoughts and insecurities, exposing their true selves, which they often despise. This exposure is intolerable, leading them to seek out social interactions to escape it. The illusion of grandeur. Narcissists often create an illusion of grandeur and superiority to mask their deep-seated insecurities. This illusion is maintained through constant social interactions and the reinforcement of their self-image by others. Loneliness threatens this carefully constructed illusion. 1. Social mirrors. Narcissists use others as mirrors to reflect back an idealized version of themselves. These social mirrors provide the necessary feedback to uphold their sense of grandeur. In the absence of these mirrors, their self-perception begins to crumble. 2. Rejection sensitivity. Narcissists are highly sensitive to rejection and criticism. Loneliness can feel like a form of rejection, intensifying their fears and insecurities. The lack of external validation during periods of loneliness makes them acutely aware of their perceived flaws and failures. Dependency on external stimuli. Narcissists often exhibit a high dependency on external stimuli to regulate their emotions and self-esteem. This dependency makes them particularly vulnerable to feelings of loneliness and isolation. 1. Need for stimulation. Narcissists require constant stimulation to feel alive and engaged. Social interactions, even superficial ones, provide the excitement and validation they crave. Loneliness, on the other hand, feels like a void, devoid of stimulation and excitement. 2. Avoidance of self-reflection. Being alone necessitates self-reflection, which narcissists typically avoid. Self-reflection can bring to the surface uncomfortable truths about themselves and their behaviours. To avoid this discomfort, they seek out constant social engagement. Lack of authentic relationships. Narcissists often struggle to form authentic, meaningful relationships. Their interactions are typically transactional, based on what they can gain from others. This lack of genuine connection exacerbates their fear of loneliness. 1. Superficial connections. The relationships that narcissists form are often superficial and based on utility rather than genuine emotional bonds. These connections lack the depth and resilience to provide true companionship and support. 2. Isolation despite presence. Even when surrounded by people, Narcissists can feel isolated because their relationships lack authenticity. They may have numerous acquaintances but few, if any, true friends. This paradoxical loneliness makes the prospect of being completely alone even more daunting. Impact of childhood experiences. Many narcissists have experienced neglect, abuse or invalidation during childhood. These early experiences can contribute to their intense fear of loneliness and abandonment in adulthood. 1. Attachment issues. Childhood experiences of neglect or inconsistency can lead to attachment issues. Narcissists may develop an anxious or avoidant attachment style, making them fearful of being alone or abandoned. 2. Unresolved trauma. The trauma and pain from their childhood can resurface during periods of loneliness. Narcissists may have used social interactions and external validation 
as coping mechanisms to avoid dealing with this trauma. Being alone removes these coping mechanisms, forcing them to confront their past pain. The cycle of avoidance. Narcissists often engage in a cycle of avoidance to manage their fear of loneliness. This cycle involves seeking out relationships or social interactions to escape feelings of inadequacy and vulnerability, only to repeat the process when these interactions fail to provide lasting fulfillment. 1. Short-lived relationships. Narcissists may move from one relationship to another, seeking the initial validation and admiration they crave. However, as these relationships progress and their partners see through the facade, the narcissists often abandon them and seek new sources of supply. 2. Social butterflies. Some narcissists become social butterflies, constantly flitting from one social engagement to another. This behavior helps them avoid being alone and facing their inner insecurities. However, it also prevents them from forming deep, meaningful connections. The role of empathy deficits. Narcissists typically have a significant deficit in empathy, which contributes to their difficulties in forming authentic relationships. This lack of empathy exacerbates their fear of loneliness as they are unable to connect with others on a deeper level. 1. Inability to connect. The lack of empathy hinders narcissists' ability to connect with others emotionally. They struggle to understand and respond to the emotions of others, making it challenging to build lasting, supportive relationships. 2. Perceived isolation. Even in social settings, narcissists can feel isolated because they are unable to genuinely engage with others. This perceived isolation reinforces their fear of being truly alone, driving them to seek constant social validation. Coping strategies and their limitations. Narcissists employ various coping strategies to manage their fear of loneliness. These strategies, while temporarily effective, often fail to provide lasting relief and can further entrench their fear. 1. Grandiosity and fantasies. Narcissists may retreat into fantasies of unlimited success, power and admiration to cope with loneliness. These fantasies provide temporary relief but do not address the underlying issues, leading to a cycle of dependency on grandiose self-perceptions. 2. Manipulation and control. To avoid loneliness, narcissists may resort to manipulation and control tactics to keep people close. While this can provide short-term companionship, it often leads to strained relationships and eventual abandonment. The path to healing. For narcissists to address their fear of loneliness, they need to engage in a process of self-awareness and healing. This journey is challenging and requires a willingness to confront their vulnerabilities and insecurities. 1. Therapy and support. Professional therapy can help narcissists understand the root causes of their fear of loneliness and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Therapists can guide them in building genuine self-esteem and forming authentic connections. 2. Developing empathy. Learning to develop empathy is crucial for narcissists to build meaningful relationships. This involves practicing active listening, understanding others' perspectives, and responding with compassion. 3. Self-reflection and growth. Encouraging self-reflection and personal growth can help narcissists address their inner turmoil. Journaling, mindfulness, and introspection can facilitate a deeper understanding of their fears and insecurities. Conclusion in this discussion. Narcissists' intense aversion to loneliness stems from their profound need for external validation, fear of vulnerability, and dependency on social interactions to maintain their self-esteem. While their coping strategies may provide temporary relief, they often perpetuate a cycle of superficial relationships and emotional turmoil. 
Understanding these dynamics is essential for both narcissists and those who interact with them. By addressing the root causes of their fear and engaging in a journey of self-awareness and healing, narcissists can learn to navigate loneliness and build healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in this exploration of why narcissists hate loneliness so much. I hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of the psychological and emotional factors that drive their intense fear of being alone. Remember, while narcissists may appear confident and self-assured on the surface, their aversion to loneliness reveals a much more vulnerable and fragile inner world. By recognizing their dependency on external validation, their struggle with empathy, and their coping mechanisms, we can better understand their behavior and protect ourselves from being drawn into their cycles. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content on relationships, psychology, and personal growth. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. I'd love to give your thoughts and experiences. So please leave a comment below and let's continue the conversation. Remember, knowledge is power and understanding these dynamics can help us navigate our interactions with narcissists more effectively. Take care, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next video.